Good evening. Recording in progress. Sorry. <laughs> Miss, uh, can you help, help, please? You need help with what? Yeah, in the final exam, in the part, uh, wait, in the part five section, be called the mistake. In the exercise part one. In the uh, final exam, part one. Yeah. Yes, final exam, part one, uh, section B. Final exam, part one, section B. No, no, eh, en la primera parte no, sino que es en la segunda, en el segundo ejercicio. Uh -huh. En el que toda la mayoría hemos tenido problemas. Es en el ejercicio de, do you know where Elisa can have, can have her driver sense renewed? Ya le puse renewed. Ahí no me lo da. Hey, just wait a second. Let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm just going in the platform. It's part B. Yes. La parte uno. Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Luis. Hi, uh, teacher. I'm sorry, but I am in the traffic right now. Okay. Okay. Um, I have a battery low because um, if I connection is for this reason and how far are you from home um i think in in two hours oh okay okay but uh, anyways in the minutes count okay okay it's okay okay perfect yes you have the person watching me and right now <laughs> okay, okay, thank you, okay. Luis. Uh, don't worry. Okay, now, Marcos, you were saying uh, the exercise is the part B, the exercise is the number what? Two. Three, four. Three. Three but and four. It's, it, it's in the first part or in the second part because there is a select an option and the other one is complete. Uh, the complete. Okay, so the number three is. Do you know where Elisa, I write, do you know where Elisa can her drive first license and renew, renew it. And it's not correct? No. Uh, well, let me check right now. Sorry, I didn't have my camera on. Okay, now here, look. So it's this one, right? Do you know where Elisa can have her driver's license renewed? I don't know, but it should be like that. It should be, do you know where? Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do you know where Elisa can have her Wait a second. Oh yeah, mistakes. You're finding mistakes. Can have her driver's license. And you're writing the apostrophe, not the tilde, right? Yes. Because that can be another problem. Renewed. Renewed. I got it. Let's check. I think it that should be correct. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm going to just to complete this. Like, yes. Okay, here, here. Oh, it doesn't show like that. Do you know where Elisa? Do you know where Elisa can have her driver's driver's license renew? Okay, let me check. Wait a second, I think I can. Uh, 
Yeah, I see what is the problem now. So they didn't write the tilde, they wrote in a, they wrote, didn't write the apostrophe, they wrote a tilde. So oh, it's tilde. Yeah, it's problem in the platform. Wait a second. Okay. I think, uh, let me do it. Let me do it here with a tilde instead of a, Yeah, let's try and see. Yeah, wait a second. Pero es la tilde para el otro lado, sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is, you see, there it is. I'm gonna copy because you need to copy and paste it as copy and paste it, okay? So don't do anything else, don't do it like that. Copy and paste it on the platform and then you will have it. Thank you. And the exercise number four, I write, you can get your letter, letter no, the four is the letter D or what? No, letter B, letter B. Letter B. Yes. Okay, so number four. Uh, I, write, I write, you can get your letter but shine it a Joe Chop. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second, let me try. Yes, it's a problem. A yeah, and always, guys, when you have questions like this, um, Try to, to ask me here in the class, it's better because sometimes I'm not <laughs> I'm not writing all the answers in, in, in on WhatsApp because I have a lot of people talking to me on WhatsApp, like a lot of students and groups. So sometimes it's really difficult for me. Okay, you can get your leather boats chined at, okay, let's see. Let's do it in the one way and then we're gonna do it with the tilde. You can get your. Yes, it's tilde. It's tilde. Oh, you did it, no. and it worked. Yes, 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 yes. It's tilde. Yeah, that that's a problem they had in the platform. I don't know why. Yeah, it's tilde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you know where you have. What you can do, guys, it's copy from here because I'm guessing that the same one here is the same one here. ¿Me entienden? Do you know, do you sí, know what sí, I'm sí. saying? Sí. So just copy the Joe's part with the apostrophe. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, and I then you're gonna have it. I, I think that's gonna be the answer, I think. I'm not sure, I just think. Wait a second. Sí, yo desde temprano, desde como las seis de la tarde estoy, ¿qué rayos me está pasando? Si estoy escribiendo bien las cosas y hasta que era tan sencilla la cosa, pero tan sencilla. Yeah, it's, 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 sometimes it's that, guys. Sometimes it's just the apostrophe, the tilde, sometimes it's the uh, double space or the, there's something. Remember, the platform is um, in artificial intelligence, so it doesn't think by itself. So the platform, it's gonna give you the answer just if you write it exactly how it is, not like teachers, right? So we we understand what you were trying to say and we're like, yeah, okay, that's, that's correct. But not the platform, that is not the case. Do you have any other questions related to the platform, guys, or any other questions related to the class? Yes, teacher, tell me. Okay. In platform, uh, in exam is uh, C, part three, uh, question three. In three, remember to say three, not three, because three, three. is double. <laughs> 
I problem uh, you need a cable because the yeah. I I touch screen activated. Okay, again, uh, again. Can you repeat? So it's the final exam. Okay, what number? Is the final exam right? Part letter C. Letter C. Letter, letter C. C. Okay. Part three. Part the three. final part. Yes. Part three. You replace okay. with. Will or yes, perfect. In a future Valentina. Question three and perfect. four. Okay, I'm gonna ask you something, guys. So if you can <clears throat> reduce the background noise when you turn on the microphone, please do it because sometimes you are speaking and I'm listening to your TV or I'm listening to the fan. For example, like oh, someone is like Marcos, I think is speaking and, and he has the fan close to the to the microphone. So when he, when you speak, um, it sometimes it's difficult for me to understand what you're trying to say. So just try to reduce the background noise. And so it's better for me to understand because right now you were saying something and I didn't quite understand because Miguel and, and, and Marcos were speaking at the same time and the background noise didn't help me. So <laughs> help me help you. <laughs> okay, so what, what was that what you were saying? So what is it? Part three, what happens with part three? Mike, uh, say the exercise three and four. Marcos, I don't know if you are on a bike or you are in front of a fan, but there's a really, really background noise in your background. I don't know. Like, yeah. Sometimes it's the fan, the ventilador. So that's, that's why here in my house, I try to put it in my back so it doesn't interfere with my, my, my microphone. Okay, so you say number three and number four. You need a keyword. Because they'll, they'll, they'll all be touch screens activated. They all have, I think they are mistaken here. They all have maybe? Okay, let me see what is the here thing here. Complete the predictions with will. The future continues or the future perfect. Just type the verb in, in its correct tense. Do not type the entire sentence. Okay, so you, they all be touch screen activated. You won't need a keyboard. That's what I'm thinking it is. I don't know. You won't need a keyboard, maybe? You won't need a keyboard? Wait, 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 wait. Or you will, yeah, you, you won't need. That, that's the answer, won't need won't need anyways yeah. Yeah, i think it's won't need you won't need a keyboard yeah. but i'm gonna try to wait a second here you want oh wait a second i have the spanish keyboard okay you won't need you won't need a keyboard, okay. And the other one says, later in this century, people not live in houses that are heated with oil. People will not want and live or want again, want, I think it's want. Want. Want live, but let's see, let's check. What? Again, the apostrophe. I'm guessing they are doing this again. It's yeah. a problem. I copied. Right. I, I copied the the apostrophe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not apostrophe. It's a tilde. It's a background. Yes. Back, background. Background. Back, ah. Yeah. Background. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna send you here the answers so you can just copy and paste because maybe that's gonna be helpful. Yeah, but thank you for telling me because this is not a problem with you. 
this is a problem with the platform, okay? So number four, no, I mean number three is one need. Living, okay, yes. Oh, sorry, 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 what did I do? Ah, darn it. Ah, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One believing, this is the one. Like that, okay. So try to copy and paste because it's a problem with the apostrophe, not a problem with your, it's not a problem with your phone, right? Or, yeah, it work? Did it work? Yeah? Now it's fine? Did it work, Miguel? Yes. We are copy apostrophe. Right, yeah, yeah, it was, it is the apostrophe thing. Okay, perfect, perfect, guys. Uh, any other help with the platform, guys, that I can help you with right now? Nope. Platform teacher. Hmm? Finish platform. Oh, perfect. That's good. Excellent. I'm happy if you finish the platform because I think this week we're finishing, right? This is the week we're, we're, about, to, we're about to finish this module. I don't know. Let me check. No. On Tuesday. So, but this week, right? Yes. The another week. The, the next the week? week? The next, next week, week, yes. Oh, we're going to be finishing this week. 23. 23rd. Oh, no. 23rd, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, let 23rd. me check. Because we began on Thursday. Oh, Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday. I thought you were saying Thursday. No, we began on Thursday. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. What is your, what is your, 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 your. It's in uh, 22nd. It says March 22nd, actually. March 22nd. It says, yeah, from okay. February. Yes. 24th till March 22nd. Okay. So that means yes. the last day, it's on Tuesday. Yes, it's on Tuesday, Tuesday, next Tuesday. Okay, perfect. So, but good guys, it means that you are ahead on the, plat on the platform and that is okay. So who has finished? So I know that Miguel finished the platform, who else? I finished. Okay, Marielos finished the platform, very yes. good. Remember guys, if you didn't finish the platform, that is okay so far, because we are still working here. The problem is by the last day, and if you haven't finished the platform, then that is a problem. But right now it's not a problem. Okay, uh, send me the date to the chat, please. I need to see the date. Please, please, please. Let me see. Remember the first letter of the days, the first letter of the months, it's capital letter. Capital letter. Please, let's try to work on that. That's the only problem you're having right now because you are like, yeah, you understand a little bit better the other things. But yeah, capital letters, remember, always capital letters at the beginning. That's what we need to do. Of the months and the days of the week. Okay, now, Teacher. let me see, yeah. Teacher. Tell me. I have a question is, I does not certificate. You don't. Where is it? Hey. Oh, right now because you finished the platform. Yes, I'm not certificate. You, I think 
you need to wait. I think you need to wait. So maybe let's wait a little bit and see if you have it by Thursday or by Monday next week. But if you don't have it, um, please let me know, okay? I think, I think you need to wait. I, I'm not sure, but I think we should do. Okay, um, we're gonna go with the topic for this day. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Today is Monday, but I feel like it's Wednesday or something like we have been in this week for a long time. <laughs> okay, so it's Monday, March 14th, 2022. Can you help me reading the topic, please, Lorena? Lorena, are you there? Lorena Jimenez. Yes, teacher, but I can speak right now. Oh, you can speak right now. Yes, okay. I can. Thank you. Okay. And, uh, Boris Rodriguez. Manuel Sanchez. Hello. Can you help me read the topic, please? Yes, teacher. Okay. Four boy, four vocabulary, three word phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs. Thank you very much. So, do you know already, guys, what are the phrasal verbs? Do you know what are phrasal verbs or not? You have never heard of phrasal verbs. I don't know. You don't know? No. Okay, so a phrasal verb, it's two words, one verb. For example, wake up, that's one verb, but two words. Get up, that's one verb, two words. Another one, pick up, you need to pick up the trash or you need the trash picked up. I mean, yeah, something like that, pick up. Then another one can be wake up, wake up, get up, um, stand up, get down. sit down. Those are phrasal verbs. Two words, one verb. So, but the topic for today is the three words phrasal verbs. So for example, we are going to have three words together and they will mean only one verb. That's the topic we're gonna have today. For example, come up with come up with, that's a phrasal verb. So I came up with the idea. I came up with, came up with the idea. Do you know what is come up with? Nope. Do you know the meaning? Nope. Come up with is like, um, se me ocurrió, like that in Spanish, se me ocurrió. So I came up with the idea, se me ocurrió la idea. I came up with the idea. And we have three words, came up with, came up with. So three verb, three words, one verb. That's the topic we're gonna be discussing today. But before we go to the topic, I will need you, of course, to do the pronunciation practice we have for today. That's very important, the pronunciation practice. So remember, it's she sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Yeah? Perfect, okay. Now guys, I'm gonna send you to the breaker room to do the pronunciation practice. I know that many, many, many of you have been working on this and you have a really good pronunciation so far. So that's not gonna be difficult for you. But anyways, let's try to practice the pronunciation as always. And I have a problem. I have here some students that are in the class, but not in the class. So let me know if you have a problem where you cannot have your microphone open or your camera open. 
because then your classmates are going to be talking to you and you're not going to be there. So please, please, please let me know if you are there. Okay, let me see. There we go. Accept the invites, join the breakout rooms. Glenda, I sent you an invite to the breaker room. Perfect. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, teacher. Sorry, what happened? I lost my connection. Excuse me. Oh, okay, it's okay. Don't worry. So let me help you here to one break a room to practice. I'm going to send you with. Yeah, I'm going to send you to break a room three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Seeker. You're welcome.
Okay, improve. Okay. Chisel, sichel by the sichel. Sichel, chisel, or sichel. I'm sure so it's chisel, sichel by the sichel. Then I'm sure chisel, sichel, chel. Okay, good. Chisel, sichel by the sichel. The sichel, chisels, or sichel. I'm sure so. Is a chisel, sichel by the sichel? Then I'm sure chisel, sichel, shell. Okay, very good. <laughs> now the tutorial teacher. <laughs> yes, of course. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Hey, very okay, good, yeah, teacher. In English. <laughs> <laughs> in English. That was in English. <laughs> okay, teacher. Me, she sells the shell by the seashore. The seashell, she sells her seashell. I'm sure. So, if she sells the shell by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Yeah, <laughs> good job. Impressive. Very hey, good. You. Manuel, you, you very fast. Uh, uh, okay. Well, I'm a teacher. Okay. So, oh, well, Manuel, fast. <laughs> she sells. Yeah, so, every day, 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 every and I am sure she sells it short shells. I am. Excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. okay, thank you. My turn. Mm -hmm. uh, she sells seashell by the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. Okay, so wait a second. She, wait a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm interrupting you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It says the seashells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So, where did you copy? It? This is the same one that I shared with you. Is it me who you compartí? Or did you look it on the internet? I don't know. Marcos is sharing the screen. Okay, let me because it says it's I, there it says. The shells she sells are seashells. In my says the seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. It's different. Wait a second, wait a second. I wanna I wanna see if I can do where is it? Where to annotate? It doesn't let me annotate. But but in the second line, the shells she sells, the shells she sells. The shells she sells. It says the the shells she sells, but here, look here, the seashells she sells. It's different. The shells she sells, no, the seashells she sells. Okay. Okay. It's different, guys. You wanna take a screenshot? No. Because it it's it's a different one. Yeah, I take in the screen. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it's the again, again. Trade again. Yes. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay. She sells seashell by the seashore. The seashell, she sells are seashell and short. So if she sells seashell by the seashore, then and short, she sells seashore shell. Yay, good job. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells, she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, again. Uh, she sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So, Nobody wanted to come to the main main session. You were practicing a lot of the tongue twister. Recording in progress. Recording in progress, yes. Always recording in progress. I, I'm nervous. You're nervous, Listen, why? Recording or progress. Ah, oh, <laughs> because, because when I go to the break rooms and you hear recording in progress, that means that, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm recording the class. Yes. Guys, I have a question for you. Why is it that so many of you now have the cameras off? I don't understand. Like, uh, okay, so you need to prove that it's yourself behind the camera, right? So I will appreciate. Yeah, we have me on there. Perfect. If you have a good reason to have the camera off, tell me. But if not, please try to turn it on because we need it for the class. 
to prove your identity. Remember that we are working with programs. And if um, sometimes we have to prove that your our students were in the classes. That's why we have the videos on YouTube, right? Also, you can watch the class again, yeah. But you can also prove that it was you in the class and it was not somebody else. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, let's go here. We were talking about three word phrases. Remember, we were talking about that, like um, phrasal verbs, like came up with the idea, also broke up with, that's another one. So we're gonna be looking at that. So I'm gonna play a video for you. And then we're gonna um, do some examples with those three word phrasal verbs. Wait a second. Right, broken up with. Hi, as you know and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words phrasal verbs that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. Stay at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Be excited for something to happen. End a romantic relationship. Keep pace with someone or something. Tolerate something you don't like. Reduce the quantity of something. Have a good relationship with someone. Be responsible for something. Think of something. Develop an idea. These are some of the most common phrasal verbs. So fear happen. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So broken up with. So that's the phrasal verb. And here we have the other meanings. So phrasal verb broken up with. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. What do you think is the meaning of broken up? In a romantic relationship. In a romantic relationship, yes, broken up with. Now let's see another one. Kevin came up with a great idea for a class reunion and I told you what is came up? Hmm? Think there of something. Okay. Think of something. It's develop an idea. Develop an know. idea, correct. Three, I'm not looking forward to. Look, so you can see in the bowl, bowl is negrita. You can see in bowl the three words that are um, the phrasal verb. Looking forward to. This one is one of my favorite um, phrasal verbs. Looking forward to. Another one is, uh, remember, yeah, but looking forward to, it's a really good one. Looking forward to is what? I'm looking forward to meeting you. I'm looking forward to meet you. I'm looking forward to go with you to the movie theater. I'm looking forward to go to the concert. What is looking forward to? Be responsible with, for something? Nope. 
hey, I'm looking forward to the trip. It's so exciting. I want to go. I'm looking forward to the night because I, I want to sleep. Hmm? Be excited for something to happen, maybe. Be excited for something to happen. Correct. Thank you very much. Yes, it's be excited for something to happen. That's looking forward to. Then we have the other one. It says, my doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty food. Cut down on. So what do you think is the meaning for cut down on? Reduce uh, the quantity of something. Perfect. That is what it is. Reduce the quantity of something. Then keep up with. Rob can't keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. So keep up with. What do you think is the meaning of keep up with? Let us see. Mm -hmm. Keep pace with someone or something. Exactly, keep up with. So if you want to learn English, you want to, you, you need to keep up with the level. You need to keep up. Yep. Then let's go with put up with. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. I can't put up with you. What it means? What is the meaning, do you think? Penalty. Yeah, okay. What is it? Tolerate something you don't like. Correct. You can tolerate something. So you can tolerate the noise in your street. For example, here, guys, where I live, I have roosters. Do you know what is a rooster? Yeah. What is a rooster? Mayo. Exactly. Mayo. So I have roosters here in my house, like a lot of roosters. My grandfather will. So here I live in a, in a place where we have three houses. There is my parents' house, there is my house, and there is my grandparents' house. So my grandparents, they have roosters. So when I'm teaching classes, because I teach classes in the morning, I told you, and I teach classes in the afternoon also. So when I teach my afternoon classes, <laughs> the roosters are all the time going, cock -a -doodle -doo. that's that's the noise of a rooster in English. It's not kiki kiki, it's cock a doodle doo. So they are doing that noise all over and over and over. So I can't put up with the noise. With that noise, sometimes it's like I tell my students, that's that's so you know my roosters can speak English too. Because they not they don't do kick kiki, they do cock a doodle doo. That's the noise. <laughs> okay, let's go with the next one here. That's my girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting, fighting. So doesn't get along with, what is? So they, um, the letter F have a good relationship. Have a good with relationship. Exactly, letter F. So because here is the negative, right? So yeah. doesn't get along with. But if you get along with someone, they said you have a good relationship with that person. The next one is Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Can take care of, can take care of. So what do you think is the meaning of take care of? G. Be responsible for, for something or for someone. For example, I need to take care of my children. I need to take care of my students. I need to take care of, of my grandmother. I need to take care of my father. Someone you need to take care of. Okay. Something or someone. Perfect. Now, remember the phrasal verbs are there like three words or two words and they have just one meaning just one meaning that's it okay okay do you have questions about them those are the most common ones you can look for enough for other lists lists but those are the most common ones questions no questions no bless you <laughs> Okay, I want to play a last video for you. We're going to do a conversation practice. 
and then that's it. That the class, this class went so fast. Hi, let's begin by asking some questions. When, where, and how did you meet your wife? Has Blake suggests James to do. I need a date. Part A. Listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. Okay, so we're going to practice this conversation really quick. Take a screenshot and then we're going to practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you, what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be good a good idea to check out these discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. Okay, if you take a screenshot, we're gonna go and practice. Take turns, listen to your classmates. And if you can see, oh, something I forgot to tell you, so, sorry about that. If you see, we have phrasal verbs here. So, broke up with, mm, what is the other one? Eh, well, that's a that's a that's one. <laughs> Let's go and practice because we need to do that activity and then we go. Take turns. I'm telling you, take turns to do this. Don't do it at the same time. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I think it's, it's I think this is good.
Manuel Englender. Yeah, Manuel and Glenda are here. The other ones don't want to come here. What is it? They don't want to leave the class? It seems like that. The class finish. Yeah, we're almost like, yeah, we're over time. Hello, guys. I know you were practicing. I'm sorry that I took you here, but it's 9.05 already, and I didn't pay attention to the time, and it's time to go and have some rest and sleep, okay? So okay. have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow, okay, guys? Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.